In this episode, we will discuss the comparison between two cruise missiles, namely Tomahawk and Kaliber, to determine which one is more powerful. Since the 1990s, the United States has relied on the Tomahawk cruise missile, launched from warships and submarines. This missile, with a flying speed of up to 550 miles per hour, has been involved in conflicts in the Middle East, North Africa, former Yugoslavia, and Afghanistan. The first launch of the Tomahawk was from the American destroyer USS Merrill DD, 976 in March, 1980. In the same year, its underwater version, UGM-109, was tested. The development of this military project lasted until 1983, when the missile system officially started to be used. The Tomahawk was first used in Iraq in 1991 and became a symbol of the American concept of non-contact warfare. Although initially praised by Western media during Operation Desert Storm, the official reports from the U.S. Department of Defense in 1992, published by the New York Times and the Washington Post, revealed the actual facts, including the true capabilities of the Tomahawk. Despite having a range of more than a thousand miles, the Tomahawk now faces strong competition from Russia, namely the Kaliber missile. Before we continue, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss updates on military videos and other interesting technological developments. The Kaliber missile is considered a crucial and special capability for naval forces to attack distant strategic targets on land. Before the year 2015, only the US and the UK were known to have this capability with the Tomahawk. However, Russia, through its navy, first used the Kaliber missile system in Syria on October 7, 2015. These missiles were launched from warships and submarines towards stationary targets in Syria. The Kaliber missile has been tested in real combat conditions and has shown strong potential. Although the cost of one missile and its launch has not been estimated, this Russian cruise missile has promising capabilities. The missiles are currently placed on Kilo-class submarines and other modern types, including the Akula, Lada, and Yasin classes. Although the Russian Gepard-class warship is equipped with only eight caliber missiles, destroyers equipped with these missiles can carry dozens of them. There are more than 12 different variants in the caliber missile family, with varying ranges target profiles, and speeds. Let's take a closer look at these two missiles. The Tomahawk is a long-range subsonic cruise missile used by the United States Navy and the Royal Navy. This missile can navigate using an inertial navigation system supported by GPS, flying at very low altitudes, and can be reprogrammed during flight to change target guidance. Its navigation capabilities include GPS, inertial terrain contour mapping, and TURCOM navigation. The Tomahawk can take reconnaissance photos after reaching a designated area and send them to headquarters via satellite. It can persist until the target is clear for destruction using digital terrain mapping. In the Block 5 modification, the Tomahawk has enhanced capabilities, including a new shooter allowing it to hit surface targets from a distance of more than a thousand miles. The comparison between Tomahawk and Kaliber indicates that Kaliber is designed to compete with the aging Tomahawk. Although both systems have their own advantages and disadvantages, the Kaliber M significantly has a wider range compared to the Tomahawk, namely 4,500 kilometers compared to 1,700 kilometers. 
The main advantage of the Caliber is its ability to be launched from various smaller ships than the Tomahawk, which is usually operated by the US. Although it lacks some advanced capabilities of the Tomahawk, the Caliber can be a more economically viable option for mass production. However, it is essential to note that the Tomahawk has over 30 years of proven combat effectiveness, while the Caliber emerged in 2012. While the Tomahawk continues to undergo improvements and upgrades, the accuracy and reliability of the Caliber, fired by Russia, are not openly announced. In a comprehensive comparison, it is difficult to definitively determine which missile is more powerful, given our limited knowledge of the Caliber missile at this stage. The Tomahawk remains a proven missile, while the Caliber demonstrates strong potential and the latest technology. If you have exciting ideas about the military to discuss, feel free to write them in the comments section below. We will discuss them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss updates on military videos and other interesting technological developments.